Guys, today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial inspired by Sunset. So I'm going to start off by priming my eyelids using the Maybelline Color Tattoo 24 Hour Gel Cream Eyeshadow in Internal Gold. And I'm applying this all over my eyelids. I'm using this as a base for my eyeshadows as it's really good at keeping the eyeshadows on for quite a long time and stopping them from smudging and fading and disappearing and creasing it does such an amazing job and it's quite a light color so it doesn't kind of mix with the eyeshadows and doesn't make them look muddy so it's pretty amazing and now I'm using the Inglot eyeshadows and I'm using the warmer toned yellow first this is actually going to make the color toned yellow appear more neon so I'm using this first and I'm blending it up to my crease and I'm using a flat shader brush and I'm kind of applying it into the inner corner and halfway across my eyelids and then up to my crease. And the reason why I'm doing this, as, I, as I've said, it makes the color tone yellow more neon. I don't know why, I suppose it's... I actually don't know. So it's actually like a really... I mean, you could use the warmer toned yellow and the orange without using the cooler toned yellow and the warm yellow or just the cool toned yellow on its own but I decided to do to use both and it seemed to work really well as you can see it's like uber uber um, neon and it's exactly what I was going for when I was creating this look and now I'm going to be using a orange which is actually kind of like a reddish orange I, I wasn't sure about when I first saw this I wasn't sure whether it would be the colour I wanted for my um, for this look um, when I bought it I was thinking well I want an orange but is this the right shade of orange so I wasn't sure when I bought this but then when I tried it out with the yellow and the it just seemed it was amazing it was perfect it was the right shade of orange and yeah, and also Inglot eyeshadows last quite a long time and are highly pigmented, so this was absolutely perfect. Now I am going to be lining my lower lash line, but first of all I'm just going to touch up the yellow a little bit, just to make sure that no warm toned yellow is showing. Um, it's only kind of like the warm toned yellow is more of like a base for the cooler toned yellow because as I said it makes it look a bit more neon and that's exactly what I was going for so yeah it worked out quite well and now I am going to be using a pretty blue colour and it is the makeup store Maya eyeshadow, uh, micro eyeshadow in Maya and it's so pretty and it's like the it's like the sun is setting on a setting behind the sea or like a, sea, a sunset at sea so the yeah the yellow i was gonna say i'm um, i mean blue is the ocean and the yellow is the sun and the orange is kind of like the orangey kind of sky so yeah and this is really easy to line my lash line with it's not kind of it doesn't have much fallout and it's highly pigmented as well so it's not kind of like i have to use loads I just use a little bit and it's totally fine it just goes a long way um i didn't put enough on my brush that time but yeah so i'm just kind of tracing my lower lash line this is how i line my um lower lash lines and yeah i just try, kind of trace my lower lash line and then i kind of wipe away a little bit of the blue eyeshadow to make it to the thickness i want it to be so i apply it thickly so i kind of it's kind of looks a bit heavy under my eyes but then I'll wipe away, so then it's how I control how much eyeshadow I want under my eyes. If I don't, if I want a thin line, then I just kind of smudge it under my eyes and then wipe away. If I want a thick line, I just wipe, and I, but I want it neater, I just use the wipe and just wipe a little bit away. And now I'm lining my top lash line with a liquid eyeliner from Barry M. This is actually going to make my lashes look more full, but as well as making my lashes look more full, it's also going to make the yellow and the orange stand out even more. And so yeah, I'm just going to be tracing my top lash line. And it's also going to help the look come together. Now whenever I'm doing a quite a heavy eyeshadow look, 
I always use eyeliner on my top lash line just because it helps the lashes look a little bit more full and also look like they've got a lot more length and also helps to define my eyes a little bit more so that's why I use liquid eyeliner and the Barry M one is actually one of my favourites now I've used quite a few different eyeliners in the past but this is always the one I go back to after trying them sometimes I not I don't like them and I think I'm I'll just have to buy the Barry M one it's kind of like a staple in my makeup bag um, it's actually one of my absolute favourites and yes yeah, so I'm just kind of just doing the thin line of my other um, lash line I'm sorry for the mouth opening goldfish look apparently this relaxes the eye muscles and that's why we when we apply mascara or do eye makeup that's why we open our mouths strangely enough but um, I did a little research because I wanted to know why I do this when I apply mascara and it said that it relaxes the eye muscles so yeah I'm just gonna draw a thin line again on my top lash line and then I'm gonna move on to applying mascara to my top and bottom lashes and I'm using my favorite which is the max factor false lash effect mascara and it gives a natural but false lash effect so it kind of gives like you know those like kind of small individual lashes and it looks amazing and I absolutely love it um, I've used it so many times this month it's just amazing it gives a lot of definition to my eyes and it defines my lashes and it gets to all the lashes it gives them length it gives them volume and it makes them thick and it doesn't it separates them and it doesn't clump and it's just amazing and I'm just going to apply some to my top and bottom lashes like so on both sets like both eyes so yeah um I really like it the brush is slightly different it's kind of like big and spiky but it does the job so yeah I was just like when I when I used it for the first time I was like oh this is different but I love it the wand is different it's just amazing um, it's one of my favorite mascaras now and I absolutely love it so just applying some to my other eye and you can really really see how it see the false lash effect um, it's just amazing um, it's about 10.99 but it is truly amazing and I love it it is just amazing that's all I can say I can only describe it as amazing or well, it's actually incredible so yeah I really like this mascara I would definitely definitely repurchase this now I'm gonna highlight my inner corner using the Urban Decay uh, Naked 2 palette I'm gonna use Verve and I'm also going to be using the white eyeshadow from the Inglot palette and I'm gonna use this on the outer half of my no the, not the outer half of my eyelid on my brow bone and I'm going to highlight my brow bone with this white this look is meant to be really bright so as well as the skin being bright and looking healthy the eyes have to be bright as well so the bright the eyes are bright the, my skin is glowy my lips have a really bright color and it looks amazing so I'm going to apply a quite a bit of white to my top to my brow bone, I was going to say um, top lashes again, but I meant brow bone. And then I'm just going to apply uh, some more mascara, just because I want to. And then I am going to move on to um, filling in my brows. First of all, I am just going to give my hair a quick brush to make sure it's still looking neat and tidy. And then I am going to move on to filling in my brows. Recently I've been using the brow powder from the Inglot palette. It's actually one of, been one of my favourites but sometimes I just use um, teas from my Urban Decay Naked Tea palette which is actually my go-to brow powder. 
And I'm just going to kind of apply it from the inner half to the outer half in a kind of flicky motion using the flat shader brush. Obviously I cleaned the flat um, shader brush. I wouldn't use it otherwise because it would, it would make the, um, the eyeshadow look a bit yellow and orange and blue and it wouldn't look good. Fling my brows with a kind of yellowy, orangey, bluey brown. Not good. And now I'm going to moisturise my skin using the hydrating day cream in it, in the all bright version, and that is the Botanic by Botanics. It's amazing. It smells slightly, so if you don't like uh, products that have a smell to them, I would this would not be good. But it is amazing. It hydrates the skin. It it also makes my skin look uber glowy, and it just looks amazing. So yeah, um, I'm just going to kind of move out or blend it out or whatever. And yeah, so I like dotting it first. I don't know why I do this, but I just do. Now I am going to be applying my favourite foundation, which is the L'Oreal Infallible Mattifying Foundation in shade 10 Porcelain. And I'm just going to put some on the back of my hand and then using my favourite um, brush which is the um, Eco Tools BB Cream slash CC Cream brush and I'm just going to apply it all over my face and then I am going to blend it out in circular motions. Now I'm going to be applying some of the foundation under my eyes and I am just going to be blending out using the Eco Tools blush brush, blush brush, found BB cream blush, not blush, brush, what's going on? Anyway, I'm just going to be blending it in a half rainbow shape under my eyes up to my brow bone and just making sure it's blended out properly so that I don't get any cake the bake face which you don't want um and then i'm going to be moving on to applying blush which is the benefit coalista blush and i'm going to be applying this on my cheeks it just kind of gives a glowy effect as well as a um light kind of color to my cheeks it just it's more natural and i really like it and it's absolutely one of my favorites and i bought it in ireland and Ever since then, that was in 2013, ever since then I've been using it constantly. It's just been one of my favourites um, to use. It just gives me a supple colour and it's exactly what I want. So now I'm going to be applying my favourite lipstick, which is the Revlon Just Been Kissable Balm Stain in Rendezvous. And I'm just going to be applying this to my lips and this is a kind of like minty... Kind of, it kind of gives like this minty tingly feeling to your lips and it just look it just looks amazing as well and so this is the finished look i hope you enjoyed my video and i'll see you next week bye